Hey there YouTube, it's Jobber here. I'm going to give you guys a deck profile on my friend's uh, walk control deck. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Here we go. Well, uh, here's the wall monsters. You run the giraffe, and the giraffe's good because uh, if you have like the lock, which I'll go into later, you attack with this, and if they if they have a, a deprison, they're either going to deprison your giraffe or they're not going to deprison stop anything, anything else. Yeah, it just stops any effects, any spell and traps. So. I, I kind of like to attack with this and then I'll summon so they can't torrential if I have the lock going on because it's the only thing that'll destroy it. Uh, dark holes and stuff. Uh, the three Cobra and the Cobra's, Cobra's the best monster besides the giraffe because every time the Cobra pokes uh, he adds one so it's just plus one off the Cobra every time he attacks directly. And then I uh, usually have the back row to support him for a couple turns so you'll get a lot of pluses off the Cobra. Um, then there's the Dragonfly and the Dragonfly is like the the Watt Tangu basically, like you can go Dragonfly, 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 something else if if you're in a situation where you can just Dragonfly for the monster that you need is really good, really situational, um, really good uh, for solving situations. Uh, and then you have the the star, the three, three Watt Hopper, and what you usually do is the, um, the Dragonfly, they'll destroy it, you summon uh, another dragonfly if they have another monster they'll destroy that and then you summon the watt the watt hopper and if uh, the previous turn you attacked with a cobra you have a hopper in your hand you just summon the hopper next turn and you got the lock so uh, the lock is pretty good uh, they can't they can't attack any watt monsters they can't uh, target them with effects so it's pretty much just complete lockdown the only thing they can do is like bottomless stuff soul sorry, taker bottomless, uh, soul taker dp stuff like that yeah. compulsory all these big cards that people are running yeah definitely not bottomless uh dark hole you know things that clear the board uh lightning vortexes stuff like that and then honest because the deck is um well all the all the actual monsters that do like attacking and stuff is all 100 percent light so uh honest is good and sometimes i just like to set the honest because it's a 19. <laughs> And then I just return it to my hand, you know. Uh, the two shiny angel, um, just for the the lock, just because it searches for um, whatever watt monster you need at that time, which is usually a watt hopper or it could be a um, you know cobra or whatever. If you already have the lock going and that you just want more monsters, uh, then I play the one marshmallow, uh, just because this deck picks you to death with a thousand and thousand two hundred, so it's time consuming. So every little bit of damage you can get, this is like basically you know a turn maybe half a turn worth of damage so it's good and it's good for a little bit of stall just until you get your um, hand size built up uh, then uh, the two card card D's for draw because if you do have the marshmallow on the field or you do have the watt lock going um, the best thing you can do is just draw more cards so yeah. uh, the two card card D's and then moving, that's, in, moving into spells yeah, moving into spells I play uh, uh, Dark Hole uh, Reborn one for one. One for one is mainly for um, to summon your watt hoppers to get the lock off. The so you just normal summon, activate one for one, ditch a monster, yeah, and you have the watt lock. This this version is all all about the watt the watt lock. Uh, the pot of avarice to put you know monsters back in your deck. Uh, two lance for um, you know I, I mostly use them for the uh, the cobras actually because if I attack and they'll deprison, prison, I want I need that add at that moment. So I'll I'll forbid lance it just so I can get that add. Uh, good for like if they uh, use cards like Hero Blast don't target. So if they um, target or well doesn't even target. If they select one of my Watt Hoppers and it goes, you know you can lance it and then it doesn't destroy your lock. Uh, two Messenger for just the fact that you know every monster in the deck is under 15, so it it pretty much shuts down um, a lot of decks that run you know bigger bigger monsters. Uh, one swords just for the same reason as the messenger just to get a couple turns by maybe you could car card d or you know uh then i run the two shard of greeds um and the shard of greeds are good because if you're you know locking uh then you just draw you know set your monster attack whatever add then oh it's time for the shard of greed plus two maybe draw into a card card d card card d oh you just like plus some more and mad pluses you have a handful of cards um shard of greeds are also good is because they uh your back row is pretty important in this deck just to support the, you know, you run out, like I'll, I'll show you, but it's good. It's a good target to lure out MSTs because they're going to want to hit this because they don't want you to, you know, uh, plus off of the shard. So that's good. Uh, the two dualities, um, you know, it's pretty standard. 
And then uh, the one creature swap, just because, you know, maybe I'll open up with a Watt, mon or Watt monster that I can't really use, uh, or just like one hopper, and I have no situation. Or you can swap with a Shining Angel and attack over yeah, it. Yeah, I'll just take their big monster, and then, uh, yeah, just stuff like that. Stuff that uh, gets me my cards, like maybe uh, do a uh, creature swap on the, the Dragonfly, so I can special summon or whatever. Uh, then Judgment. Uh, we're moving into the traps. Two warnings. Solemn Brigade. <laughs> uh, that's pretty standard. Uh, two dark bribe, just because um, you know heavy storms and uh, dark holes well, are out there. The only thing that stops the combo is torrential, mirror yeah, force, so and dark hole. So you that's basically the main stuff. So you just run the dark bribes. So you got to run a lot, of, a lot of. Uh, and you can run three dark bribes if you if you like. You can just try it out, and if you like it at two, that's good. If you like it at three, that's fine. A lot of people run it at three. I like. I was trying to run it at three, but then I, I went back to two because I don't really want to give my opponent three cards. Yeah. It's like, it's, 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 I mean, if there was another card that did something, you know, besides Dark Bribe, Dark Bribe's just good because it um, can stop little single cards too, like uh, your Hero Blast and stuff, it can't, that uh, your um, other cards can't. Uh, bottomless, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the two mirror forces. Why I'm running the two fear more mirror forces is mirror forces now at two. So <laughs> yeah. that's why. <laughs> uh, a lot of people uh, with the mirror force also it's really good because if you're if you're uh, hopper locking, they will pretty much fill up their field. Like they they want game on their field. So as soon as they, you know, uh, do anything to your hopper lock, which I don't know why they fill up their field, but people usually end up filling up their field with the wah hopper lock. They'll just put like a bunch of monsters on their field and overlay and make really big monsters and stuff that don't really do anything, but then uh, they attack and I, I mirror force them, and then they lose they lose it all. Poof, gone. Huh. <laughs> and then uh, the two hero huge revolution is over. Um, play this over Starlight Road because uh, I personally think it's better than Starlight Road because uh, Starlight Road can be um, negated with cards like, uh, you know, um, Solemn Warning basically is the big one, and then you lose everything anyway. So uh, this card pretty much stops that, and if, hey, if they're gonna Dark Bribe it or Solemn Judgment it, you know, okay, that's good for you, pay your, you know, half of your life points and give me a card, so. Very good. That's why, and then. And right. show, a, show off his extra deck? Um, since I run the Creature Swap, right there, <laughs> <laughs> I run uh, some, some Synchro Monsters, just in case uh, I uh, take a tuner, because I'll sometimes take a tuner because all my monsters are fours, so uh, could possibly. It's just good, you know, uh, options, more options to go into. Um, and then uh, three stars. Actually, I don't even think. Okay, yeah, sure. yeah I got a couple three stars, but. <laughs> okay, I lied. I have one three star, but. Uh, Forget that. <laughs> I could creature swap and marsh marsh no, balloon. It's, it's marsh, fine, it's yeah, marsh balloon and creature swap, but you know. It is creature swap. So yeah. you creature swap for a three for a three star, <laughs> go into a three rank or monster born. This deck very rarely ever uh, exceeds anyhow. And if it ever does exceed It's mostly it, just to have a full a full extra deck. <laughs> yeah. Because there's not enough four stars, you guys you guys know. Um, and then uh, Pearl, Utopia, um, Mestroke, uh, Photon Pavilion. And then uh, those are my two fours, and then my three fours is De Sigma, uh, Shockmaster, and number 91. And these guys are good. I actually can put these out more than people would think, because if I if I lock, I'll have three, you know, fours on the field. I'll have my, my uh, uh, Cobras and my Giraffe, so it's just like, if I'm plussing too much off of my uh, Cobras, because the effect's mandatory that you have to add, and I don't want to exhaust all the monsters out of my deck, I'll uh, overlay for maybe one of these guys. He's awesome. He's awesome. And he's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, you heard it from the man himself, Dylan over here. Yeah. Uh, Going to be signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook. See ya.